What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Today, we are going to be doing another feature highlight in Fusion 360. We're going to be using the Bend feature, which is a solid, oh, not solid work, sorry, Fusion 360 feature. Um, yeah, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if it's something that you really enjoy and you, you've been learning a lot within this channel, hit that bell because I keep doing these videos and I'm going to keep doing them. So we're just going to move on over to Fusion 360. And we just have a piece of plate of sheet metal. We have a little hole in there. You can see right there, I kind of added just to show you can work around some shapes and some lines. Uh, the bend features, you click on create in your sheet metal area. And right there, we have bend. I have it saved up here. Again, you can, just a reminder, you can click over here and pin things to your toolbar. So we're going to click on the bend feature. And it's going to ask us, what do we want as a stationary side? Uh, to do that, it has to be an object. So we're just going to click on that. And now we are given the option to select a line. Note that even the lines on this box can be used if they're intersecting at all, excuse me, with the sheet that we have, the metal sheet. So I'm going to start off with this one right here, actually. We'll click on that. And right away, you can see, if we zoom in, is it's actually working around that hole, which is pretty cool. And we can change the angle, just, you know, toggling it, whatnot. Um, we can also flip the angle just directly over the, I guess, the origin plane. We can also change the starting point of, of like where that angle is. Like right now, you can see it's starting right here on the curve. We can do it at the center. We can also do it at the end. And so it just kind of shifts it based off of where that line is. Uh, and though in this case, it doesn't make it a difference. We can also turn off bend reliefs. So like little cuts that they put into the metal to relief the, me the metal so it doesn't... Um, stress over stress and break in the um, die process when it's actually being bent um, we can also turn the relief cut for all of the bends so right now I'm gonna add another one and so we'll just click on this guy and kind of add a little bit of random shape now let's add some more and something I want to note is you want to make sure you're doing these in the right order because if you do them too far into the center so let's say we use the center one right there now once I click OK I can't use this line to bend right there anymore so we have to make sure we do that and another thing I don't really like about the bend feature is as you can see I'm sitting on this line it's only giving me the option for the left side of the line I wish that you could toggle back and forth between the two but it just doesn't give you that option so we're just going to select this one right here and we'll click OK make another one and one last one. So yeah, made this kind of funky little funnel. Um, but I think this is, is a great example of just like what you can do with this feature. It's a really simple feature, really straightforward, uh, and really, really nice. It's, it's a little bit, in my opinion, uh, more relieving and simplified compared to the flange feature, which is a lot of extruding, but also a lot of other kind of features compressed into one. Uh, and last of all, you can override the rules. So right now I have an aluminum plate. Uh, let's say I want it to be able to bend more or less. I, I wouldn't personally tamper with that. Um, I don't do enough with sheet metal to know where I can push my limits. Um, so I just wouldn't stick with the defaults of Fusion 360. So we'll just click OK. And that's it. That's really it. I hope you found that tutorial helpful. If you did, hit that subscribe button. If you have a comment or any questions, I'd really, actually, I'd really love to hear them. I've really enjoyed answering the questions that people have posted. And yeah, keep on modeling and we'll see you later.